नमस्ते वेलकम टू दिस सेशन विथ विद्या नाहर प्लीज कंसल्ट योर फिजिशियन टू एन्श्योर द सुटेबिलिटी ऑफ द एक्सरसाइजेस इन द फॉलोइंग वीडियो फॉर योर स्पेसिफिक नीड्स द क्रिएटर्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो आर नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एनी इंजुरीज और डैमेजेस कॉज टू यू बाय फॉलोइंग द एक्सरसाइजेस डेमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड इन दिस वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर योर इंटरेस्ट good luck and best wishes please keep up your breath and posture awareness throughout this practice hello namaste welcome to today's practice with vidya nahar today we going to practice pilates moves lying on the belly so more like a prone position when you are upside down facing the floor it's called a prone position when you are lying on the back it's called a supine position and we also have a video where i am practicing lying down sideways for your lateral stretching so if you haven't seen my other two videos lying on the back in the supine position and side lying position check those videos out also and today we'll be mainly on the belly or facing downward on all fours so that's going to be a prone position working more on the spinal extension most of us are sitting during the day working on computers or driving cars or watching tv or eating food so when we sit like this we tend to compress the lower back and that's where a lot of low back issues start kicking in if you have any kind of low back problems low back pain this kind of spinal extension will help you a lot so practice some spinal extension moves every single day spinal extension is basically elongating the spine or going more backward back bending that will help you separate your vertebrae and be more spacious on the inside let's get started we're going to get started going on the mat like this fully flat to begin with You don't have to do the whole one hour of practice like this if it doesn't feel right for you to go one whole hour long like that you can always combine my side lying moves with my supine moves and then the prone position moves or if you are up to it to go for one full hour of practice with this prone position go for it start with your body fully stretched out stretch your right hand beyond the left hand right leg beyond the left leg So intentionally feel more stretch on the right side of the body than on the left. Just awakening the body, bringing the awareness to the space that you're occupying right now. Relax for a second. Now stretch your left hand beyond the right hand and left leg beyond the right leg. Again, feel intentionally more length on the left side than on the right. And relax. Let go. Just drop your head. Feel the stretch in the entire body from your toes to your fingertips, and then just lift your head, look ahead, and drop. So inhale, lift your head, look ahead, elongating the spine, and exhale, drop. One more time, inhale, just lift your head, look straight ahead, while your hands and legs remain on the floor, and exhale, drop. So for the next inhale, as you rise, lift your right arm, wherever you can take it high, is fine, and exhale down. Next time when you come up, see if you can bring it a little bit higher, just the right side of the body. So I'm not turning on the left side like this, going down. Keep your rest of the body as it was before, and just lifting that right arm and rest. one more time lift of the right arm you are also lifting your upper body and your head to follow the right hand with your head neck and eyes so it's not that your head is down and you're just lifting the right arm you're lifting the entire upper body now from this position add five pulse lifts towards the sky with just the right arm like this up 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 and gently rest Switching sides, left arm up. So wherever you can bring it easily, bring it there and rest. 
Next time when you bring that left arm up, see if you can take it a little bit higher than before. And again you are lifting the entire upper body, not just the left arm and lower. One more time, take it higher than before. Now make this as the starting point and add 5 pulse lifts from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and gently rest. So you are going to add opposite leg to this arm. Right arm, left leg. This is a nice diagonal length in your body from your right fingertips to your left heel. Good extension for the spinal column. And again we go to the same thing. So lift your arm and leg and lower. Again, lift it a little bit higher than before and rest. This time when you take that arm and leg up, we're going to add 5 pulse lifts towards the ceiling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now from this position, we're going to add diagonal moves to the sides. So right hand to the right front corner, left leg to the left back corner, sideways stretch and back to the center. Again, right hand to the right corner, left leg to the left side, left corner, back to the center. Three more to the diagonal corners, center, corners, center, one last time, corners, center. From there, take your right hand back towards your left foot. Look over your right shoulder. Now at any point you need to take a break, go for it. That's fine. Just keep the video on the pause and come back whenever you're ready. And inhale, extend your arm and leg. Look straight ahead. Exhale, take it back. You're working your posterior obliques. Right hand to the left foot. Now if your hand is not by the foot here, it's okay to just place it on your back pocket. It's just okay to place it on the floor. But look back over your right shoulder. And inhale, extend. Three more of these. Exhale, right hand to the left foot, looking back. Inhale, extend. Two more. Exhale, back. Inhale, extend. One breath, one move. Exhale, back. Inhale, extend. Now from here, switching just the arm. So right hand down to the floor, left arm up. Now we have left hand, left leg up. Same side of the body. First, we're going to just lift them up, up and towards the floor, drop. Again, lift a little bit higher and drop. This time, when you bring them up, five pulse lifts. One, two, three, four, five. Now, bring your left hand back to the left foot and look straight ahead. Inhale, extend. Again, take it back. So, when you have same hand, same leg, don't look back, look ahead. This is your body's longitudinal system. Inhale, extend. Keep the thighs off the floor. And exhale back. Knees and thighs off the floor for the leg that's elevated. Inhale, extend. Exhale back. Lift the knee higher each time. Two more. Extend. And back. And again, if your hand is not by the foot here, just place it on the back pocket. Extend one last time and extend, take your break, relax, breathe. So we are going to add the opposite diagonal side after this. Start with your left hand and right leg, pointing your right foot, stretching your left hand in the front. First we are going to just lift them up and exhale lower, two more. Up a little bit higher than before, lower. This time when you bring them up, five pulse lifts. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the leg straight. So you're not bending the knee to lift the leg. Keeping it straight is important for that spinal extension. Now we're going to take them diagonal corners for the lateral hip and shoulder moves. So right leg to the right diagonal corner, left hand to the left diagonal corner in the front and back to the center. Corners, center. Corners, center. Follow that left hand with your eyes. Center one last time. Center. From here, bend your right knee, reach for your right foot with your left hand. 
look back over your left shoulder and extend with your inhale exhale as you reach back so make sure you're lifting your knee and your foot if your hand is not by the foot just keep the hand on the back pocket but lift up the knee in any case inhale extend keep going take it back and extend two more of these back extend one more time back extend now again we're going to switch arms only so left hand down right arm up first lift them up and down up and down up and then five pulse lifts one two three four five take your hand back to the foot and extend continue back not looking back this time because the same hand same leg extend right hand to the right foot keep looking straight ahead extend working on the longitudinal system of the body two more lift your right knee look ahead one last time hand to the foot extend and take your break relax for a second breathe from here bring your hands underneath your thighs with your palms facing your thighs and we're going to lift just the legs so lift your right leg here and bring your left foot in front of the right thigh this looks complicated but it's very doable keep pushing a little bit higher so you can lift your right leg all the way up this opens up the right hip flexor and stretches the right side of the body even more keep pointing your right foot up this is pointing this is flexing so point your foot up now from here bend your right knee and look at your foot over your right shoulder so that your foot is not falling overly on the other side make sure you can see the foot over your shoulder and extend your leg look ahead continue bend the knee look at your foot over your right shoulder inhale extend look ahead three more of these bend the knee look at your foot over your right shoulder inhale extend two more bend the knee look back extend look ahead one last time bend the knee point your foot towards you looking back over your right shoulder this is like a half scorpion and inhale extend bend your knees down to the floor extend your legs take your break relax so every now and then take breaks in between your two moves two poses so you don't carry tension from one thing to the next so ready for the next leg left leg up bring your right foot in front of that left thigh keep it as long as straight as you can pointing your left foot and again bend the left knee look at your foot over your left shoulder so your knee is bending in straight line and not falling to the side like this and extend look ahead this also works your neck bend your knee look back look over your left shoulder inhale extend look ahead three more of these bend your knee look back extend look ahead two more if you sit a lot for your work in your chairs this is an excellent stretch for your hip flexor one more bend the knee look back and extend look ahead lower the left knee extend both legs relax breathe so now we're going to lift both legs here keep your palms placed underneath your thighs or you could make fist underneath your thighs whatever feels right for you we're going to lift both legs knees and thighs off the floor squeezing the glutes another nice extension for the lower back these are very good moves if you suffer from any kind of low back issues we're going to pulse the legs up five times squeeze the glute one two three four five now if you want to go five more times go for it or if you need to take a break take a break otherwise continue six seven 
8, 9, 10 and gently rest, relax, breathe. Taking out your hands from underneath. So we did the lower back extensions. We are ready for the upper back extensions. With your hands off the floor, elbows by the ribs, just lifting up the upper back. Squeeze the glutes. Extend your hands if you are ready. Lift them up to the sky. Halfway down. In towards your shoulders. Halfway down. So not using the hands to lift yourselves up. Using just the upper back. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale in. Exhale, halfway down. Three more like this. Inhale up. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale in. Exhale down. Two more. Up. Extend. Lift. Down, in, halfway down, one last time, up, extend, lift, down, in towards you, all the way down. Take your break, relax, breathe. So now from this position, bring your hands underneath your chin. So you have a nice supported spinal extension here. And we are going to do some kicks here, single leg kicks. Just a simple kick by bending the right knee, point your right foot towards your back pocket and extend. And left leg kicks in, extend, keep going. Right in and out, left in and out. Three more on each side, right in, left in, keep going. Right in, out, left in, out, one more, right and left. We are going to add double leg kicks here. So bend both knees and bring your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers in the back. Lifting your chest, lifting your knees and thighs. Extend both legs. Kicking out with both legs. Then drop your knees, drop your chin. Kick with your heels in towards your back pockets. Inhale as you lengthen the spinal column. Exhale as you drop and kick yourself. Three more. Inhale as you stretch out, lengthen. And drop, exhale. Keep going. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. Hold it here. Extend your hands. And again, five pulse lifts. One, two, three, four, five. Now a little bit of a rocking. Chest up, thighs up. Chest up, thighs up. Front and back rocking. Keep going. And take your break. Relax. Breathe. So all of these are good moves for your spinal extension. As we grow older, our vertebrae start fusing, joints start shrinking. So practice these spinal extension moves every day. Alright, so from here, stretch out those hands and legs one more time. And we're going to do swimming arms and legs. Now I'm going to do 100 of these, but if you want to do less, that's fine. If you want to do all 100 with me, that's fine too. As you do this, lift your legs, lift your arms, but minimize this kind of rocking movement. Keeping the trunk steady, we're going to just lift up arms and legs and pump arms and legs in the swimming like position. So keep your arms and legs off the floor, extended knees and thighs off the floor. And just pumping in straight line without rocking the whole body like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Breathe. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. How are you doing? Continue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. Almost there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Oh, we did it. Very good. That was a lot of work. Nice spinal extension. When you're resting, remember to breathe diaphragmatically. Exhale, draw the stomach in. Inhale, relax the stomach. So for the next move, we're going to make lateral hip and shoulder moves again. Earlier we did the diagonal moves. Now we're going to do the whole body, both hands, both legs. Extend your hands to the side like it's a V stretch and extend your legs to the corners of the mat. So basically you're making a big X with your whole body or like a big star. Lift your legs, pointing your toes up and back and knees and thighs off the floor as much as possible. Hands off the floor. We're going to tap the feet and clap the feet. And again, 100 of these. So if you need to take a break, feel free to take a break or put it on the pause and come back and join me whenever you're ready. Ready? Minimize the rocking in the rest of the body, just tapping and clapping. One, two, three. Now minimize the noise in your finger. Just bring the fingertips together instead of full clap. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Breathe. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, breathe, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 20, 90, 80, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my, my. That was tough. You did it. So take your break. Diaphragmatic breathing. Inhale, stomach expands. Exhale, stomach contracts. So another move here. It's called a grass roll. Keep your feet together in the back this time, hands by your sides. Keep the entire body engaged. Hands remain by your legs like you are preparing for a whole body scan. And then roll to your right side, face the ceiling. And with your exhale, come back to the mat. With your inhale, roll to the left side. That's it. Exhale to the mat. Inhale to the ceiling. Just half rolls. If you want to go for full rolls, go for it. Keeping your hands and legs together. Exhale to the mat. Inhale to the ceiling. Again, exhale to the mat. Keep going. We'll do two more to your right. Continue. And to your left. Continue. One more each way. To your right. Center and to your left. Center. Very good. Take out the thumbs from underneath. One more time. 
So from here, we're going to practice a rocking bow. Take your hands back to the insteps of your feet, not to the outside, because then your elbows have a tendency to flare out. Keeping them inside, this also rotates your shoulders externally, opens up your chest more, squeezes the shoulder blades and forms the upper back. Now if your hands are on by the feet, it's okay to keep them by your sides and just lift up the chest, lift up the knees and thighs like it's a bow pose. And if you're all the way here, we're going to practice a rocking bow. So lift your knees, lift your thighs, lift your chest. Rocking bow was Joseph Pilates' favorite move. He is the founder of the Pilates exercises as you know. So for a rocking bow, just simply chest up, thighs up, chest up, thighs up. Keep rocking like it's a swan dive. Keep going. Chest up, thighs up, chest up, thighs up. Good work for your abdominals. Squeezes your glutes, your shoulder blades. And let's go side to side rocking. So to the right, to the left, stacking your knees, your hips. As you go side to side, continue. See if you can get at least 10 rocks, front and back, and 10 rocks side to side. Keep going. And remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. And one last time to the right, to your left. Excellent, come back to the center, take your break. And relax, breathe. From here, bring your forearms to the front. So we are more in the sphinx position, supported spinal extension. Shoulders in line with your elbows, elbows in line with your wrist. And from here, first just look up towards the ceiling with your inhale. And exhale, look straight ahead. Inhale, extending your throat, looking up. Exhale, look ahead. One more. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look ahead. Now, next exhale, look back over your right shoulder towards your right heel, adding a stretch for the left side of your neck, left side of your trunk as you look back to the right heel. Inhale, center, look up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder towards your left heel. Inhale, center, up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder. This time, look at your left heel diagonally across. Keep your toes together, feet pointing. Inhale, lift your head, look up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, looking at your right heel diagonally across. And inhale, center. And going down one more time. And then from this position now, we're going to add some plank moves. Lift up your stomach and your thighs. And first just hold this plank position here, engaging your core. If you need to stay here with your knees down, that's fine. We're going to do alternate arm and leg lifts here. You may leave your knees on the floor if that's better for you. Or the next option is lift your knees off the floor, but remain as parallel to the floor as you can. So either your knees down or up, but the trunk remains steady. Hips in line with your shoulders, shoulders above your elbows. Now for alternate leg lifts, this is how it's going to be. If your knees are down, keep your left knee down for your right leg up, then right knee down, left leg up. Then left knee down, right arm up, down, left arm up, down. Now if you want to try this with your knees up, this is how it's going to be. Right leg up and down, left leg up and down, right arm up and down, left arm up. And down. Now what you can also do is, instead of dropping both knees down, just drop the left knee when you're lifting right arm, right leg. Or just drop the right knee when you're lifting left arm, left leg. So this is how it's going to be. Dropping the left knee, lift your right leg. Dropping the right knee, lift your left leg. Then your right, right knee is up, right arm goes up with your left knee down. And right knee down, left arm up. So whichever position suits you, we're going to do five more of these. Decide if you want both knees down, one knee down, or no knees down. Ready? Right leg up, down. Left leg up, down. Right arm up, down. Left arm up, down. Continue. Right leg up, down. Left leg up, 
down, right arm up, down, left arm up, down, three more, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, right arm up, down, left arm up. Planks are excellent position to strengthen the core, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, right arm up, down, left arm up, down, last time, you're doing good, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, right arm up, down, left arm up, down, drop your knees and take your break. Rest, lot of work. For your core today, your stomach, hips, lower back and glutes. Remember to breathe. Few more moves in this plank series. Coming forward again on your forearms and taking your knees back. Whether you leave your knees on the floor again or lift the knees off the floor, we're going to stay here and 10 pulse lifts with each leg. So just the right leg up. If you need to drop the left knee, that's fine. Otherwise, with your right leg up, pulse lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right leg down, left leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the knees. Take your break. Stretching your back, stretching your arms. Come forward on your forearms one more time. Extend your legs. Now again, it's okay to keep the knees down or it's okay to keep the knees up. You decide or it's okay to switch in between the repetitions so you don't have to be stuck in one position for the entire set or entire routine. So we're going to start twisting the hips. I'll show you first with your knees down. Drop your knees to the right, center, and to the left center. So basically twisting the lower body to the right and to the left, to the right and to the left. Now if you are ready to do this with your knees off the floor, go for it. We're going to do five sets on each side. So right down, center, left down, center, right down, center, left down. Three more. Right down, center, left down, center, right down, center, left down, center. Last time, right, center, left, center. Oh, take your break. Stretch your arms and legs. Remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath no matter how hard, how challenging the pose is. It's okay to just rest in between and take your break. So from there, coming up this time, hands by your chest, elbows by the ribs. We're going to rise all the way. Inhale as you lift up the entire spine and your shoulders are above the wrist. Don't lock the elbows like this. Don't dig your neck in the shoulders. Keep the elbows soft, elongate the spine. Imagine that string going through the crown, lifting you up. Leave the hands and feet where they are. And just sit back, stretching the back, your lats, your arms with your exhale. Move the body weight forward, inhale, exhale, chest down, inhale, lift your heart, exhale, chest down. Keep going with this limbering of the spine at the same time adding the push up in between, down, up and sit back. Three more of these. Inhale, move the body weight forward. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, folding the spine. Continue. Two more. Forward, down, up. Sit back. And one last time. Forward, down. Not bringing the thighs or the stomach down, but just the chest down. Lift your chest and fold your hips. Excellent. Stay here. Breathe. From here, bring your both hands to your right front corner. Stretching them all the way to the right side as much as you can. Bring your right hand back towards your feet. Shifting weight to the right hand. Lifting your arms up. Rise all the way. 
and exhale forward fold to the right front corner right hand remains by your feet and you just lift up your left arm up and exhale down to that right front corner three more of these inhale as you lift up your right hand remains where it is exhale fold to the right front corner two more of these inhale rise lift up your sit bones exhale to the right front corner one more time so nice extension in the spinal column and flexion to the diagonal side now bring your both hands to the right front corner again to your front and to your left front corner feel the stretch in the right side of the body now bring your left hand by your left foot there on the side in the back shift weight to that left hand lift your right arm back to the right back corner and exhale to that left front corner continue inhale lift to the right back corner exhale to the left front corner three more of these inhale up and exhale forward fold feel the stretch in the right side of the body the whole time inhale lift and exhale forward to that left front corner and one more up and forward fold from there walk your hands to that left front corner and to the front come up on all fours keep your shoulders above the wrist hips in line with your knees and it's just a simple spinal extension and rounding so elongate the spine like it's a cow stretch and round your back like a cat pose draw the stomach in inhale elongating the spine look ahead exhale round it in this time as you extend your spinal column stretch your right leg back press your heel to the floor feeling the stretch in that right calf and pointing your foot move the body weight forward flex it back press it down point it forward one more time press it down getting that good stretch in the right calf point it forward from here limbering the hip bring the right leg to the right front corner take it as front as you can and bring it behind you to the left corner flex your foot when you bring it to the left side and look at your foot over your left shoulder so we're going to do four more take it to the right front corner a little bit higher each time limbering the hip and take it to the left back corner and again to the right front corner and take it back to the left back corner flex your foot when you take it to the left and continue point to the right front flex it back to the left continue right front corner very good limbering for your hips see if you can take it higher with each repetition bring it back to that left corner one last time to your right front corner a little bit higher and flex it back to the left corner very good now the same move with your foot off the floor so take it to the right bring it to the left to your right and to your left now this time you flex your foot to the right and point it to the left when the foot was on the floor you are pointing to the right flexing to the left now flex to the right point to the left two more to your right to your left to your right to your left drop the knee take your break remember to take breaks every now and then ready for the left leg here coming up as you elongate the spine press your left foot back pressing your heel down to the floor pointing it move the body weight forward flex your foot press your heel down this pointing and flexing of your feet is important for the health of ankles knees hips point move the body forward and one last time press it back forward this time as you bring that body weight forward pointing your left foot bring it to that left front corner and to the right back corner as you flex your foot so you point it to the left front corner and flex it to the right corner look at your foot on each side look on the left side look at your right side 
two more point it to the left leave it higher than before each time flex it to the right look back over your shoulder one last time point it to the left flex it to the right now the same move with your foot off the floor as you bring it to the left now this time flex your foot kick to the left and point it to the right flex it to the left point it to the right so maybe i'll turn this way so you can see it better all right so from here the left leg again flex it to the left point it to the right looking back over your shoulder flex it to the left point it to the right one last time flex it to the left point it to the right drop your knees sit back take your break so coming up on all fours one more time the last set we did was alligator tail now we're going to do a tiger tail one more time facing the other way so you know how it's going keep your hips in line with your knees shoulders in line with your wrist on all fours for the tiger tail lift your right knee look at it over your right shoulder rounding your back bring your right knee to the inside of your right elbow take it up look back right knee to the inside of your left elbow take it up look back right knee to the outside of the right elbow flex your foot kick it out to the right side bring it in under extend your right leg bringing your elbows down chest down right leg up and bring come back up then bending your right knee again look back over your right shoulder round your back right knee to the inside of your right elbow take it up look back right knee to the inside of your left elbow take it up look back right knee to the outside of the right elbow flex your foot kick it out to the right side bring it in under extend your right leg and bending your elbow chest down rise continue bend the right knee look at it over your right shoulder and rounding your back right knee to the inside of your right elbow take it up look back right knee to the inside of your left elbow take it up look back right knee to the outside of the right elbow flex your foot kick it out bring it in underneath extend your right leg exhale chest down two more of these lot of work for that left glute right glute right foot up rounding your back right knee to the inside of your right elbow take it up look back right knee to the inside of your left elbow take it up look back right knee to the outside of the right elbow flexing your foot kick it out bring it in under extend your right leg and exhale chest down one last time bend it in rounding in knee to the inner elbow take it up look back right knee to the left inner elbow take it up look back right knee to the outside of the right elbow flex your foot kick it out bring it underneath extend your right leg this time as you go down for the push up 10 pulse kicks with your right leg straight to the ceiling keep your foot pointing pulse it up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 grab the right knee take your break sit back stretch keep breathing a lot of work today for your stomach hips back and glutes and all of those make the core so strengthening the core coming back up on all fours one more time let's switch sides so i'm going to do the other way now so you can see the action on the left leg first check your position shoulders above your wrist hips in line with your knees knees in line with your ankles and keeping your trunk parallel to the floor so that means don't let your lower back drop like this from here as you inhale lift your left foot up in the back look at your foot over your left shoulder rounding your back left knee to the inside of your left elbow take it back up look back over your left shoulder exhale bring the left knee to the right inner elbow as you contract the abdominals take it up look back with your inhale left knee to the outside of the left elbow flex your foot kick it out to the left side bring it in under extend your right leg and then going down for the push up with your exhale take it up look back bend the left knee look at it over your left shoulder 
round your back left knee to the inside of your left elbow take it up look back left knee to the inside of your right elbow take it up look back left knee to the outside of the left elbow flex your foot kick it out bring it in under extend and exhale chest down very good come back up bend the left knee look at it over your left shoulder round your back left knee to the inside of your left elbow take it back up left knee to the inside of your right elbow exhale take it up look back left knee to the outside of the left elbow flex your foot kick it out bring it in under extend your left leg exhale chest down two more bend the left knee look at it over your left shoulder round your back left knee to the inside of your left elbow take it up look back left knee to the inside of your right elbow take it up look back left knee to the outside of the left elbow flex your foot kick it out bring it in under extend your left leg exhale chest down rise last time bend the left knee look at it over your left shoulder round your back left knee to the inside of your left elbow take it up look back left knee to the inside of your right elbow take it up look back left knee to the outside of the left elbow extend your leg to the left side kick it out bring the left knee in underneath extend your left leg exhale chest down and this time those 10 pulse kicks upwards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Take your breath, knees down, stretch your arms, breathe. And again turn your palms towards the sky. From here, bring those elbows towards the shoulders and press them down to the floor. Press all 10 fingernails down to the floor so you're really opening the squares of your palms here. And hands to your shoulders, extend. One more time, hands to your shoulders, take your breath, relax, breathe. So for the next set in this quadruped position again, shoulders in line with your wrist, hips in line with your knees. We're going to extend the right leg and the left arm. Now this is something similar we did first lying on the belly on the floor. But this time we're going to add a little more movement to this. So with your left arm, right leg extended, round your back again, bring your elbow to the knee with your exhale working those inner obliques. Inhale, extend. Exhale, take your left hand back to the right foot, look over your left shoulder. So now you are working those external obliques. Continue. Inhale as you extend. Exhale, round your back, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Hand back to the foot, look over your left shoulder. Continue. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round your back, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hand to the foot. Look back over your left shoulder. Two more. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, round your back, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Hand back to the foot. Look over your left shoulder. One last time. Extend. Rounding your back, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. And hand back to the foot. Now we're going to switch arms only left hand to the floor and right hand goes to the right foot this is a trickier balance so you'll need a little more practice before you can do this routine extend your right arm right leg rounding your back right elbow to the right knee extend your arm and leg bring your hand back to the foot looking straight ahead continue inhale extend exhale elbow to the knee Inhale, extend, hand back to the foot. Two more. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hand to the foot. One last time. Straighten your right arm, right leg. And fold elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Bring your hand to the foot. This time as you extend your arm and leg, drop the right knee. So you're switching legs only. So it's right arm, left leg now the other diagonal pair so rounding your back right elbow to the left knee exhale inhale as you extend right hand back to the left foot look over your right shoulder inhale extend keep going exhale elbow to the knee inhale extend exhale hand to the foot inhale extend 
exhale in three more inhale out exhale back inhale out exhale in two more out back extend round it in one last time inhale exhale back inhale exhale in this time switching hands only as you extend your left leg extend your left arm so same hand same leg elbow to the knee inhale extend hand to the foot keep looking ahead inhale extend keep going exhale elbow to the knee inhale extend exhale hand to the foot inhale extend three more exhale elbow to the knee inhale extend exhale hand to the foot inhale extend continue exhale in inhale out hand to the foot extend one more exhale in inhale out hand to the foot and extend take your break sitting back stretching your arms your back your legs remember to breathe so coming up in full plank this time so instead of this quadruped position with your hands and knees down see if you can come into this full plank if this is a challenge you can always stay with your knees down but it's more of a modified plank so it's not a quadruped position where your shoulders are above the wrist and hips are in line with your knees but you take your upper body even more forward so it's more of a slant in your trunk whether your knees are down or you extend your knees so just like we did the forearm plank we're going to do this full plank with different sets so the first set is going to be down down up up push ups from here right forearm down left forearm down right palm on the floor left palm on the floor right down left down right palm left palm keep going right forearm left forearm right palm left palm if you want to do this with your knees down this is how it's going to be right forearm left forearm right palm up left palm up one more right down left down right up left up now we're going to switch the leading arm so left forearm down right forearm down left palm up right palm up left forearm down right forearm down left palm right palm if you want to do this with your knees off the floor try that left forearm down right forearm down left palm up right palm up left down right down left up right up one more left forearm right forearm left palm up right palm up take your break sitting back stretching your arms back feel free to do more or less repetitions of any of these moves as it feels right for you and again you don't have to do all these moves in one set one day you could scatter them you could combine them with other moves i usually time my practices either all prone moves or sideways lying or supine moves just to deepen the practice in each way but you may want to do it differently and that's perfectly fine come up on your hands again when you are ready to lift your knees if you don't want to lift your knees you can keep both knees down or one knee down either way what you are going to do is again leg lift so right leg up and we're going to just pulse it up 10 counts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the right leg down left leg up so notice as you're doing this don't shake the whole body it just that left leg pulsing up 1 2 3 you can modify by keeping the other knee down if you wish 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 take your break sit back stretch breathe we're going to practice alternate arm raises from here from this full plank so coming up on your knees or in the full plank right arm up and down left arm up 
and down, keep going, right arm up, and down, left arm up. If you want to do this with your knees down, drop one knee, left knee down when your right hand comes up, right knee down when your left hand comes up. Or continue without dropping the knees. Right arm up and down. Left arm up and down. Two more. Right arm up and down. Follow your arm with your head, neck and eyes. One more each way. Right arm up and down. Left arm up and down. Again, take a break. Relax, breathe. We are almost done with the practice. Just a few more sets. Turn your palms to the ceiling again. Press all 10 fingernails on the mat. And hands to your shoulders. And lower. To your shoulders. Lower. One last time. Now we are going to practice something that is called an elephant's trunk in Pilates and downward dog in the yoga practice. So from here hips up and taking your chin to the chest, chest to the thighs. This is the elephant's trunk in Pilates. You move the body weight forward into the plank tops of your feet flat. Lift your heart looking up to the sky. Going for that full spinal extension and flexion. That's the set we're going to do. Heels to the floor, head to the floor, chin to the chest, chest to the thighs. Lifting your body weight forward, lift your chest, inhale, exhale, lift your hips, head to the floor, heels to the floor and continue, inhale, point your toes, so elongating the spine, spinal extension and spinal flexion, heels down, head down, chin to the chest, chest to the thighs, continue, inhale as you elongate the spine, exhale, Heels down, chin to the chest, chest to the thighs. One more. Inhale. Nice extension for the spinal column. And exhale, flexion. Very good. From here, drop your knees completely. Keep your knees in line with your hips, in line with your ankles, arms out in line with your shoulders. I'll turn this way so you can see the right side first. So rotate to your right side, right hand to your right heel. Look up at your left hand. Now if your hand is not reaching for the heel, you may lift your heel by flexing your foot or just bring your hand towards the thigh or the knee wherever it reaches is fine. Again, arms out in line with your shoulders. Rotate to the front, to your left side. Left hand to your left heel, right arm up. And again, arms in line with your shoulders, face front. Rotate to your right, this time right hand to your left heel, so to the diagonally opposite heel. And look down at your hand this time instead of looking up. Again, arms in line with your shoulders, rotate to the left. Left hand to your right heel, looking down at your left hand. And arms in line with your shoulders, rotate to the right. This time right hand to the outside of the left thigh and left hand up. Looking down towards your heels in the back. Arms in line with your shoulders. Rotate to the left. Left hand to the outside of the right thigh. And looking down towards your heels with your right hand going up. And come back to the center. Now both hands to your back pocket. Squeezing your glutes. Lean back. You may leave your hands on the back pockets or go towards your heels if your body allows you. That much back bend. This is an intense move. From there, sitting halfway down. So you are keeping the back straight. Don't round the back. Just sit halfway back, bending in your knees, chin to the throat. And then one more time, either you bring your hands to your back pockets or back towards your heels. Hands to the front, chin to the chest. Keep going. Three more. If you want to just stay with the back pockets, push your thighs to the front and exhale, chin to the chest. Two more. Pushing your thighs to the front, dropping your head back. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to stay here in this half sitting pose and pulse it downward as if somebody is pressing us back up like this. One. Two, just a half sitting pose. Three, not sitting all the way. 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन I'm going to face you for this next move. Take your arms up with your inhale. Round your back, drawing the stomach in. Pick it up with your exhale. Inhale as you lift, elongate. Exhale, rounding your back like you're hollowing your body. Pick it up, something from the floor and sprinkle it out into the world outside of you. Round your back, exhale, scoop it up. Inhale, lift and sprinkle to the side. Two more, exhale, round the back. Draw the stomach in, lift. And sprinkle one last time. Exhale, round your back. Draw the stomach in, up, sprinkle. Now reverse, take it up from the side. Inhale, rounding your back in the front. Exhale, scoop it up on the side. Offer it in the front by rounding your back. Three more. Inhale and exhale. Two more. So again, stack your vertebrae, round your back. One more. Inhale up and exhale down. Excellent job. So from here, simply bring your legs to the front. You're almost to the end. Scooting forward to the front end of your mat. Stretching your legs. Lift your arms and fold forward. Excellent. We did a lot of spinal extension today. So this is opposite of that. Bending forward, flexing the spine. Take your arms up. Inhale. And slowly take it down halfway first, just going down lower back, middle back, upper back, come back up, inhale. And another nice forward bend, see if you can go deeper than before, limbering your spine, inhale arms up, interlace your fingers, take them to your right side, inhale up, exhale to your left side, inhale up, and one more time, forward bend, exhale. Inhale up, we are ready to go down here, lower back, middle back, upper back, in that order. Once you are all the way down on the floor, stretch your arms and legs, point your toes and fingertips away from the center. Flex your feet, bring your hands towards the ceiling and slowly rising. Upper back, middle back, lower back coming up. Inhale and forward flex. Come back up one more time. Going down slowly, lower back, middle back, upper back. Bring your hands to your thighs. And we're going to come up from that same position. Keep your hands along your thighs. As you start coming up, slowly rising. And going forward. Going down one more time. Take your time. Excellent. Stretch your arms and legs. Point your toes and fingertips away from the center. Flex your feet. Bring your knees in your chest as you did a lot of spinal extension. This is a nice rounding of the back. Point and flex your feet, wiggle your toes. Bring your hands to your heart and we're going to extend arms and legs just to get a little bit of a counter move here. Exhale, lift your head in nose into the knees. Inhale, stretch out arms and legs. Exhale in. And one more out. And Nice. Just keep hugging your knees here, rounding your back. And bring your feet to the floor. Let your feet fall off to the corners of the mat. Hands by your sides. Fingers curl up towards the sky. And just nod your head up and down as if you're saying yes. And gently roll your head side to side as if you're saying no. Extension from your neck. Rest your head comfortably in the center. And with your eyes closed, gaze between eyebrows, starting at the top of your head, establish your intention to relax. Make it a conscious process of letting go. Let go of all the thoughts, worries, desires, emotions, stress. And move your awareness through your physical body, one body part at a time, making sure each and every body part is relaxed. 
relax your forehead, let go of the wrinkles, soften your eyebrows, space between eyebrows, eyes, nostrils, mouth, put a little smile in your lips and relax your chin, neck and throat, soften your shoulders, upper arms, elbows, we need a lot of work with the shoulders, upper arms today with all that weight bearing work, if there is any tension still remaining anywhere, visualize it melting away with your exhale, re-energize that area with your inhale, invoke the presence of inner healer through your breath, relax your forearms, palms, fingers and fingertips. Keep your breathing deep, even, slow, quiet, without pauses, without jerks, through your nostrils only. And slowly bring your awareness back up, relax your fingers, palms, wrists, elbows, upper arms, under arms, shoulders, relax your chest, upper back, lower back, stomach, hips and glutes, lot of work with the stomach, lower back, hips and glutes region also, with all the spinal extensions, so Feel free to change your position if something isn't feeling right. Be at complete ease with yourself in your own body in this time, in this space. Relax your thighs, hamstrings, knees, backs of your knees, calf muscles, shin bones, ankles, feet and your toes. Complete relaxation. Enjoy this time with yourself. Slowly bring your awareness back up, relax your toes, heels, ankles, calf muscles, shin bones, knees, backs of your knees, thighs, hamstrings, hips and glutes, stomach, lower back, upper back, relax your chest, your shoulders, neck and throat, soften your facial muscles, chin, cheeks, jaws, eyes, eyebrows, face between eyebrows, forehead and the top of your head. Keeping your awareness there, gently bring your knees in your chest one at a time, no rush, no jerks. Hug your knees, wiggle your toes, awaken yourself from that relaxed state. And gently rock your body forward and back, roll it side to side, shifting weight in each direction, massaging your lower back in the process. Keep going at your own pace. I thank you all for joining in this practice today. Please join me in sending our goodwill out to the world. May there be peace, happiness, health, love, laughter and freedom to enjoy it all for everybody everywhere. Roll gently to your right, then to your left. From your left, come up to the sitting upright position. And we are done with today's practice. Hope you got a lot of spinal extension out of today's practice. Keep balancing your supine moves with your pronated moves, with your side moves to get a total body workout. This will help you stay in good shape no matter what comes your way. Stay happy, healthy, kind, be well. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in the next video. Namaste.